Welcome to the channel. Today I've got a lot of finalising going on. I'm at the unit, so I've got all of that stuff being cleared out today. That's just going to leave me with my shelving stuff. And in order for me to take my shelving, I need to bring my tape so I can tape all the panels together and I keep forgetting. So I'm going to have to go in there and spend six quid on a f***ing roll. And then hopefully once all that shit's been cleared out and I can get my shelving in the car, then that room's going to be empty. But I've still got another 20 days of renting it. My final payment comes out in three or four days, five, five, five. Then I've got until the end of the month to get out, but I'm going to be out. But then I get my deposit back plus the month, plus the two weeks that I haven't used. I get that back as well. Then once I've done that and the car's full of all the shelving and all of their shits out of that unit, I'm finally going to the car garage to finalize the new car. They called me yesterday, said it's being delivered. They've just done some stuff on the alloys. There was a few dinks and whatever else. So they've sorted them out. Dinks, what a funny word. Dinks. They're taking it to be valeted and MOT'd. Get a fresh MOT on it. And then... It's all good. It's 20 to 10 at the moment. These lot are going to be here at 11. Probably going to take about an hour to clear it out. That'll bring us to 12. And then I'll probably just head my way over to the garage because I've got to be there for one and then get that sorted out. I'm not going to be able to pick the car up today unless I do it later. The plan is that before he goes on holiday tomorrow is to... I fucking left my notifications. <laughs> oh, Leslie. Um, before, before he goes on holiday... I want to finalise the deal so he gets his commission and stuff. So I'm going to go there today and sign all the paperwork. And then I've got to go home, pick my daughter up at 2 o'clock, 2.30. Be there for 2.30. Then I'll see if the mother-in-law can take me back down at some point and pick the car up. So I'm going to leave it in their car park. Then I can come back home. I'll have the new car on the drive, the old car on the drive. I can retax it, insure it, get this one so hungry get this on facebook for like 400 quid quick sale and then hopefully get this one out the drive as well got a few sales i need to pick as well so i've got a busy busy day today but i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to start unloading that stuff onto the landing so it's easier for when they get here i'm not going to be filming them i'm not going to get their faces or their voices on camera just going to be filming as normal today but that's what's going to be happening all right see in a bit oh the lift there's one for the sickos. And there we go, that's everything they've got to pick up. Tons and tons of it. Those up there are double heighted. Loads. Clothing, mannequins, turntables, projectors, vintage toys, lamps, desk stools. Loads of consoles, Xboxes, 360s, Playstations, Subutios, loads of stuff. Star Wars. Yeah. I've just been to the office, the reception, and double checked to make sure I can use that big ass trolley. I've never seen it before, apart from a few days ago. That's where it's sat ever since. So that'll be good. So I'm actually gonna help them a little bit and preload some fucking trolleys. I know, I'm too good to these people. I've taken photos of loads of stuff, so I know what's there. I'm gonna get these trolleys loaded up so they can just get in and fuck off quick as possible. So these are the normal ones that I've been using. You've got this big one as well. This one is like two of these. I should be able to fit four bags and probably some on top. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll probably get most of it out on one, one journey. Because I'll be honest, I just want them in and fucking out. Honestly, with how cunty they've been, I shouldn't be touching it. But I'm doing it for me, not you lot. I want you in and out. Fucking knackered, but this is where we're at so far. Four on that one. I wish this would, I wish this would have been around sooner. Four on there, three on there, two on there, we get another one on top. So you get three more on there. Right, so that's all the bags out, at least. Taken over the hallway. Taken over. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All full to the rafters. So all they've got to do when they get here is unload this. So if they've got any brains, they would have brought some Amazon bags, then we could just load it all into there. We shall see. Can't imagine so. Brains. I think that's got more brains. 
Right, so apparently they're here, so I'm gonna go down and meet them. Almost there. I've actually done a lot of the graft as well. But for me, not for them. I've got a load more stereos and stuff in the car that we're groping out. 20 past 11 and we're done. So they've been here half an hour. There's two of them, we had the big trolley, and I actually helped because I wanted them gone, so we got it done. Otherwise, it could have been an hour or so. Sweet. Good fucking riddance. There we go, that's it. All of this is my stuff to deal with now, like rubbish and shelving for home. Let's go pick my car up. We can't actually go and get the car anyway. I've got another hour and a half. So I hope you enjoyed my jump for nothing. But there is two charity shops relatively local. So we're going to check those out first, have a nice slow browse and kill that time because they are quite local to the car dealership. I've just had a load of emails from the car place as well, asking me to sign in here, put this code in there, but they kept on sending me loads of different codes and I put them all in, which means they're wrong because they came at different times and now it's canceled the paperwork. So God knows, but let's go and check this charity shop out. And it's my absolute favorite. Love these guys. Good hour, Bo. How are you? Good, you okay? Got some time to kill down this way, so I thought I'd pop in. See if I find anything. I'll let you know. Bit weird, load of Ralphies in, but somebody's cut all the inside tanks out, all of them. Well, those ones are there, but. Bit weird, isn't it? There's more, look, they've all cut the insides out. Eleven of them. Um, yeah. Wampum. Wampum. Put that piece on it. I'll stop filming because there's just like too much to go through. Too much to go through. So we've got a stack of clothing and a basket. Seven ninety-five. Uh, 60. So there's 80. Give me 10 back and keep the change. Thank you, my lovely. Thank you. Yes, yeah, very nice for me to get down here at the moment. So it's very as and when. Yeah. So thank well, you very much. Receipt, yeah, please, just for my own reports. Thank Sorry. you. That's all right. Listen, you have a charity shops. Take note, that's how it's done. Things are priced properly. I've just been in there and I spent 70 quid. How many times do you get people coming into your shop and spending 70 quid? Probably never. Well, right, now we're going to go to St. Michael's for a stark contrast. <laughs> I haven't got long actually to just realise it's quarter past 12. What time did I get here? Half 11. No, what time did I get here? Half 11. Yeah, half 11. 45 minutes I was in there. No problem. When I'm filling bags up, I'll spend as much time in there as needed. Are you ready to see the absolute difference of what it's going to be <laughs> compared? I mean, straight away. <laughs> Let there be good stuff. See if it worked. I'll let you know. Pretty sure that's like 2010, 2011, I think. Oh, it's been ripped and stitched. Nah. That one, in and out, five minutes. I did get a pair of Nakona boots. I did spend £25 on them, so just under half of what I spent on all of that in the other shop. But the way I look at it is, I mean, they, they could sell between 50 to £150, those ones, so there's, there's profit in them. But when I work out what I've spent on the day, do you know what I'm saying? Everything's averaged down. So I spent 70 quid in the other shop, or 60 odd, I'll let them keep the change, 70 quid. £95 I've spent today. I'll probably get that back just on those boots if I wanted to. Let's say if the average price in them boots is 140, I'll list them up on eBay for 115, get a sale quickly, and then the rest of that, I can throw it in the bin if I want and I'll still be all right. Now it's time for me to go to my car. This video is fucking long. 
dreading the edit. Oh, and also while I was checking out, the lady was like pinching this bit here. She was going like, that's a nice buy. I said, yeah, I'm a bargain hunter. I think they're a bargain. <laughs> There she is. So that's all the stuff that I picked up today. That's better. That's better, isn't it? Ta-da, 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 hello. Ta-da, hello. Happy? Acorns! Oh yeah, upgraded in the world, don't we? So there we go. Yeah. Fucking scuffed up there, didn't even notice that. Hey, but yeah, there we go. We've got the car sorted. Now it is actually quite late in the evening. Siri, what time? Alexa, what's the time? It's 8.23 p.m. And I'm only just doing my packing. And that's unheard of for me. So, I guess we need to get cracking. First thing going out, and a big shout out to Jimmy Hot Wheels. He spotted this and made a quick purchase. It is the North Face Kangaroo jacket. I am very sad that it wasn't my size, but because of that, it meant some of you got to have it. 55 pound on Vinted, bargains. Next, the Bally shoes sold again, sold them for 25 pound on eBay. They got returned because they were too big, so I stuck them on Vinted for 13 pound. Sold. Then for £20 on Vinted is the PS1 bundle, controller and console with all of the leads. I actually sold a PS2 bundle and a PS2 console only as well, 30 and 25 And also another PS2 console for 20 I believe. Console, power lead and AV unit. I like to price my stuff to sell. Okay, that is the postage done and today's been a day full of so much stuff what have we done charity shopping cleared the unit sorted the card there's just so much gone on today and it's so late normally i've filmed edited uploaded before 12 o'clock let alone do all my packing and stuff so i'm going to call it there i will draw the winners on tomorrow or the next video that we've got for the last three videos i'm going to draw all three winners in one video thanks for bearing with me love you all see you in the next one bye oh and i'll show you the charity shop pickups in the next video all right, I won't leave you hanging. Some good bits.